welcome back to another mukbang with Aim and Lee. We are the Munch Punch UK. Happy birthday to Lee! Thank you, Aimo. Yes. Thank you. We are in the 35 Club together now. Yes, <laughs> I've got me a missus who's the same age now. Yes. Yesterday, we weren't the same age, wasn't no, we, Aimo? We wasn't. We did our Instagram live last night. We'll come on to that in a minute. Lee, what have we got on the menu uh, let's today? Just move. Bear with me, guys. Let's just zoom in slightly. So we've got less of the table, more of the food. Uh, today we have a Sunday dinner, chicken dinner. Should move them at the way. Look, show them, Look at that sleeve. Yeah, we've got about 20 Yorkshire puddings here, guys. For him, literally. I've I will got not one. eat 20. I'll eat a few. But it's my birthday, so I get to eat what I want. Move the bar. Sorry, Emma. Alright, so I've got loads of veg, chicken, potatoes, rice potatoes, but <gasps> cabbage, broccoli, and carrots. What did you all think about the uh, the thumbnail? Did it look good? I thought it looked good. The roasties, yorkies, some carrots on mm. there, chicken stuffing, bit of the green stuff. No, that's the here. best bit. I've got quite a bit of the green stuff today. Cabbage and broccoli, which is unlike me, but got to even out the 20 chicken nuggets with a bit of the green stuff, I guess. <laughs> I'll pop that there. There um, we go. I've got some mustard. My favourite mustard ever, Coleman's mustard. I hope everyone's well and having a good time. Oh, time. I don't know what you can be doing on a Sunday. I mean, I wonder what they do in other countries. Because this is like a British thing, obviously, a Sunday dinner. Yeah. But I think other people do have them. But, mm. you know. No. Yeah. Hmm? Mm. It's like when you go to... F f Foreign countries, like when we go to Sp we went to Spain last year, and you find like English pubs Cheerio. advertising Sunday dinners. It's not the same. I don't know what it is. If you go out to an English pub for your Sunday lunch or Sunday dinner, it tastes really good. It tastes very British. But you go to like Spain and have an English dinner in an English pub, it don't taste the same. It reminds you a bit of home, I guess. Well, we had a good breakfast in Spain. Only the one, surprisingly. Mm. And it was nice, but it just didn't feel British. Probably because we were in Spain. Oh, I don't know. I think it tasted exactly the same. Probably it's like, maybe it's like the different produce, but... Maybe it's the buddy heat. You're not sitting in England eating your breakfast in buddy 30 degree heat. Well, you do. When is it 30 degrees in the morning now, in England? One or two days in around about July. <laughs> oh, we always get our good weather in April. Yeah, we do. We had our Instagram live last night and I was absolutely 10 sheets gone for the wind. But other than that, it was really, really fun. We also had a virtual quiz with our friends. Mm -hmm. I think you're being kind to yourself there and saying you was 10 sheets to the wind. <laughs> I think you'd been blown down the street and blown back again by the time you finished that chat mm -hmm. that video last night. But we had fun and thank you to everybody who came out. Ron had fun with us. That was, yeah. It was a good laugh. I had a giggle. Don't remember much about it. Well, after 11 cans, Lee, I'm not surprised. Woke up this morning. I rang us up. So I thought I was in bed. I didn't know where the hell I was. Just rang me up at five in the morning. Where the hell are you? So I just got, I'm up and about. I'm having a coffee. I'm, I'm watching a bit of TV. I didn't know it was five in the morning. I didn't know I'd not been to bed. Yeah. And I, I slept down here for like four hours. And then that was it. I went up to bed. I was like, oh, right, I'll go, go to bed for a couple of hours then. This bugger here, when I woke up eventually, I thought, God, I've been asleep for hours. I feel yeah. like I've been asleep for so long. Tricked him. Yeah. I was like, oh, I'm going to get up now, I am. Because I wanted, to... well, you probably don't know, but the UFC, was like a, some MMA show. I wanted to watch that this morning, I recorded. I said, like, I'm going to get up. And she's like, it's only seven o'clock. Stay in bed a bit longer. I was like, it can't be seven. I've been asleep. I got into bed at five. Five o'clock. Yeah, it turned out it was like half past ten. And he always oh, up at like half six every day. I can't stand sleeping here. Love it. I don't think I did when I was a kid though. I can imagine you. Yeah. He's gone all right. Uh, he's so and so in. Can you come out and play? Oh, he's in bed still. I'm not in bed? It's like half past nine, but you're not out. Was you the kid that all the parents are? Oh, God, he's mm. knocking on the door again. Well, they didn't actually say it to me, but I'm guessing I was. Hmm. I did used to upset some parents. Did you? Yeah. Why? I used to push my luck, so I remember. 
We used to have huge water fights. Not little ones. Not like just two people. There were about 20 of us. All the little kids and me. Mm-hmm. I was the only little kids on the street. And the That's parents. Because we lived on a really sort of close cool street. Track. Yeah. Everyone knew each other. Mm. And we'd have these big water fights. And I hate getting wet. I love wetting everyone else, but I was a little shit. I'd hide in the house if someone was going to wet, wet me. You're like that now. You always like do everything to everybody else. But so you're terrible. See, I mean, if I hurt you like, in a play fight, you'll have to hurt me back. Even oh, if you I'm hurt coming, me first. I'm coming and I'm going to... I'll be coming back twice as hard, mate. Yeah, if I'm slaps me like on the legs, so I'll slap her back. And she'll, you can't do that. I've got to get you back. Like, hey, you've just done it to me first. I've evened it out. No, I have to be in the lead, Lee. So, okay. <laughs> Does any of you other couples do this to each other? It's like... Very competitive, we are. In a fun, in a fun way. Yeah, in a nice way. That water fight, there was on this one water fight. There was this girl called Emma, who was a couple of years younger than me. You've met her, she had a baby. Mm-hmm. Um, her mum, Sue, who again names me, went to my dad's 50th wedding, she was there, whatever it was. My dad's wedding. She actually wished you happy birthday on Facebook. I don't, I don't know, I'm not on Facebook myself. And basically, my mum was there to talk to this one called Sue. I, Emma hid behind her mum after so I came in. I was like, you're not really going to get away with that. And she's um, like, Lee, don't even bother. And I was like, 10. And you're not like 10. You didn't. You're not like 10 if you can get away with anything. I thought, I can throw the water so it goes over her mum's head, like over the top oh. of her, and lands on Emma. Didn't work. Oh, Lee. Landed flat bang, smack wall on her mum, all over a book that she was had on her lap while she was talking to my mum. And in front of my mum, her mum had her right go at me. And my mum probably didn't know what they had to do. And I was like, whoa. That is rude, that's why. It certainly was. We've got a couple of shout outs to do that. Yeah, I know. Do I get them on your phone or do I need to? Oh no, I, I can't. There's think. a little girl. We've got a call Wait a minute. Out to. Well, let's just hang on a sec. Okay. Okay, so. You can't beat Sunday dinner, guys. First of all. If you don't, I'll, I'll keep talking so you got them. If you, we got a McDonald's near us, drive through, and every once in a while you'll see people, families and stuff, going in there on a Sunday. I'm like, why don't you go and make a chicken dinner? What the hell are you eating McDonald's for on a Sunday afternoon? Yeah, how weird that? It kind of feels wrong. Okay, so our first shout out is to Leighton Savannah and Destiny. Who said that they love look, watching our channel. I'll do. I want to say thank you so much. And... Seven year old Esme. Aww. Oh, bless you. Um, and that's Crystal's daughter. Says I'll hello to you and Crystal. Yep. Yeah. Esme, thank you for watching our videos, beautiful. Esme apparently watches our videos when her mum gets home from work at yeah. night time. I did actually apologise in advance when she we got that message. I messaged back this morning and said, I apologise for any bad language your daughter might hear. I'm going to have to um, be aware of that. Tell it in. Yeah. Yeah. I'll try and bleep it all out. Yeah. <coughs> oh. Steady mm. on. Oh, yeah. So, okay, so we were talking before about like traditions and eating dinner. So, like, this like, English roast dinner. What, do, do you have, like, a day in other countries, like, on a Sunday? Like, do you have, like, a specific type of food? On that particular day? Yeah, like, we, have, we call this a Sunday dinner, don't we? Yeah. So I want to know, like, if, like, say, what would their traditional dinner be on what day, sort of thing? What yeah, do I they got eat? you. I understand. That's a good question, that is. Also, do you eat like this in other countries? As in, I've heard a lot of pot roasts and things like that. That's like, um, I've seen them. Meat in a pot? Yeah. And like, like meatloaf. That's what I was thinking of, meatloaf. That's got, like, a crust on the outside, ain't it? And it's I like, think. you know the mints that we do? And yeah. You it, like, I did that once. Oh, yeah. You made one now, didn't you? Mm-hmm. That was bloody lovely. Oh. Amy is a bloody good cook, guys. You haven't really seen it on this channel yet. Because she's mm-hmm. only doing a few like meals, at, homemade meals that Amy's made. A lot of it's stuff I make. That's not all that good. I like to make stuff that's quite... Really good stuff. And she's got a few ideas for upcoming I videos. don't like boring food. In fact, like eating traditional food... It does my head in. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it does make some good food. Some people say that this is like their 
Well, they're cut, they're, they said that they're win a chicken dinner. Yeah. But, like... Not everyone likes these sort of dinners. No, but what I'm trying to say is... I was watching somebody, like, on the mukbang years ago, and they said a chicken dinner. But it, it wasn't, like, we cook... We have a chicken dinner. It was all sorts of things. And, like, in America, Americans out there, guys, can you t- explain to me, like... I mean, I'd love to try it, because I think, again, trying all things new is great, but... Like marshmallows on potatoes and things like that. I'm just wondering really? about that. Yeah, no. sweet potatoes. Like, I don't know that one. They have like, yeah, honestly. Um, we got back right back to that conversation, guys. I I always forget my bit at the beginning. I am as the intro, and I want to start this new bit. I always forget it. <laughs> Please hit the subscribe if you haven't already. You I the do video. say it at the end, but I know, but people ain't always around at the end. So hit the subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the thumbs up because that really helps out the channel and helps us keep the haters at bay. And drop a comment. What are you having for your dinner today? What have you had for your dinner today? What are you having for your dinner next Thursday? Let us know, guys. Mm. And we'll get back to that conversation. It feels odd when you have a chicken dinner, don't you think? Or maybe it's just me being stupid here making conversation. In the week. Midweek. There's no, something well, about it. No, because... So I'm 35 now. And when I was growing up, and this was my friends as well... Midweek dinner, you'd have like lamb chops. Mm. Midweek dinner, that's like acceptable, or like something called belly draft, which is like pork belly. I've never eaten that. It's actually really, really nice. Um, so that was okay, but it wasn't as intense as a Sunday dinner. A Sunday dinner for us was like mainly like roast beef and yeah. roast lamb, chicken, pork. Look at that green stuff. Ooh. But uh, but you could have a midweek dinner, but you never went all the way out there, if you know what I mean. Some people don't even do this much. Some people like, have it with like mashed potato and stuff. No, that was a thing in my family that we didn't do. I've always had it everywhere else myself. We had. Now, we had like sausage and mash and things like that. But we had boiled potatoes, like two roast potatoes, that's it. I don't like the way Lee does it in the respect that he puts all roast potatoes on, but I like boiled potatoes. They're my favourite. Well, more roast for me the next time. I can leave roast potatoes, unless they are fantastic. But when I was a kid growing up, we had things like, again, you'd have like your kids' meals, sort of like sausage and chips and things like that. But we used, my mum always used to make um, things like beef stroganoff, um, chicken mm. chassers and pasta bake. That is beautiful, that pasta bake. That bacon. is nice. I used to them when I was a kid. No, I said pasta bake and not pasta bake. Oh, sorry. Why you start chewing pasta bakes? They were nice. Cottage pie. Yeah, my mum was very much a from scratch cook, if you understand what I mean. Mm. Uh, what else did we used to have when I was a kid? What did you used to have? What was your... Sausage and mash. Um, mm. Chicken nuggets were a big thing when we were kids. Like they were just coming out in the nineties. So like chicken nuggets, so then you get like uh, turkey dinosaurs, um, alphabet p- potato things, all this waffle. I went to a mate's house once for dinner. He's, he's invited me around because like, his mum and dad said, "Oh, invite Lee around for his dinner." He used to be school mate, and they brought this meal. It was just chips and sausage or something like that. I didn't think much of it. It was all right. Covered it in vinegar like I do with my chips even these days. I was eating. No, I was like, uh, Alex, it was his name, Alex. It's a bit of a like, onion taste to me dinner. I don't like onions. You know, what, what's that all about? Mm-hmm. It's onion vinegar or something uh, like that. Wasn't it onion gravy? No, it was the vinegar. And somehow it had onion flavours to the vinegar. It was horrible. Oh, I had to eat the dinner because I'm not disrespectful like that, but I have been to one or two places where I'm just not eating this food. We went out for tears. We left school, didn't she? The last day at high school. We were celebrating. Went out for a meal with her. It was bloody disgusting. Where? Remember Oh and yeah. They brought my burger. I had the burger and chips. They burnt the first burger. The second burger, I think, was like stone cold. And then after that, I said, "Look, I've eaten the rest of the dinner. Take it away." Yeah, it was a bit. Uh... Pain in the ass. I always, I, you see, that's why. Like this place is a carvery as well. I don't like carveries in in, in Wolverhampton. Toby Carver is okay, but I don't never like the mash. It's always to me instant. I don't like the roast potatoes, they never taste genuine. 
Lakes. The Lake District did a good roast. Oh. It was in the Lakes years ago, our first Little proper fun, holiday. Eh? Would it be our first mm-hmm. one? Then Tembu was second. Um, our first like little holiday that we had as a family. It was lovely. My dad bought, got us this little cottage off a friend of his. It was like a two hundred pound a night cottage. It was spot on. I mean, our tea shed like the pick of three I've different never bedrooms. Sat. That is beautiful. That was beautiful. But me and him were wimps. Even then, we were scared stiff of going in the cellar. We yeah, there a, was a cellar there. I was thinking. We heard a bumper tune. That was it's it. Stupid, but you're like. Who's in the cellar? <laughs> it, that's through watching films, that is. We watch too many films. Well, um, scarcely it happens. Spaghetti Bolognese was another favourite of ours in our house. I was just telling about our Sunday dinners in the lights. Oh, that Sunday uh, dinners. Was... We went to this car for anyway, guys, and we, did, we didn't have a car. We, this was like 11 years back. All we could do was walk around the lights. And my dad was there, he worked, he worked in the lights as a taxi driver. And we, he took us this one place, the so one day he said, oh, go there for a car, but it's not that expensive, it's really tasty. And that was it, I was hooked. I think we must have gone there four days out of five. Yeah, um, I'm just thinking where we've had that really good... We went on holiday once with some people we used to know, let's mm. just put it that way. And um, we went to this... That was their local type club thing... And it was just basically like two potatoes and a carrot on a plate. It was ridiculous. We paid like ten pound each for dinner all day because we were stuck out in the middle of nowhere in Wales. If anyone's been to Wales, and you know that there are quite rural rural places where literally you might see a cow. Not a nice countryside though. It's a lovely countryside, but to get around because there was like ten of us, we had to get on the bus, and the bus was like every four hours. It took like three hours to get to anywhere. I'll tell you something about them buses. They can't have shift in Wales. <laughs> <laughs> flying through them. Would it be the valleys that you'd class that as? What, where is the valley? I know the valley's in Wales, but is it anywhere where it's like a valley? Or is it... Oh, well, yeah, it's like... like <coughs> but either way... Um, we had that dinner, didn't we? Yeah. I'm just trying to think of where we've had the best Sunday dinner, apart from my mum's. <laughs> well, we had that dinner in Wales. It was disgusting. It cost us all £10 each. <gasps> you and my dad, this Christmas, because we was all ill, made the best Christmas dinner. Oh, I love my mum and dad's Christmas dinner. I think you always like your home cooked meals, don't you? Mm. When you were a kid and that. Um, yeah. Like, my nan used to make really, really nice food. My like gran, um, she's not like to arrive today. She's passed away a couple of I years ago. I think they know what you mean. Uh, basically, my gran, anyways, she used to make homemade chips. And when I was a kid, um, when I was a kid and when I was older, I just popped round. They're not on currently she was doing chips, but <laughs> I couldn't imagine you do something. I like did that, a little bit, like when did I you actually co- you say yeah you did. I did yeah okay. What are you lying for? I'd finish work about two o'clock. I'd uh, have a little he- pop into town, buy this or that, spend, spend my money because I was like eighteen. I'd not to bloody really save up for, and then I'd go to Greg's. Get me two sausage and bean melts, a bottle of coke and a newspaper, sit in Greg's, eat that, read that, drink that, go to the library, I'm not even joking, I'd go to the library because I used to just need a nap, I'd sit in the library reading the newspaper and so, a, like sounds, like ASMR sounds, like newspaper turning, used to, I'd Please. be off. I've got to interrupt you. Act, I know you've said this before, but I... I swear down, on your on your life, I used to go to the library, not on purpose to nap, but I'd always know I'm going to fall asleep. So, Bert would be sat here, Barry there, and Tim over there, and Marjorie's re- going through the uh, the books on the shelf, trying not to, like, you know, put them all back in order. And I'd be like... I'd wait, I'd wait myself up. you got to be, like, a member, haven't you? I, yeah, I was a member of the library, Lancaster. I was, I'd wake up... When I've some never block, been a member of the library in my life. You just said, <coughs> I'm like, oh, 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 sorry, mate. Two minutes later, I was back to sleep. But then on the way home, I'd pop to my grand's. I had a little nap there as well. Because I was working from six till two, daytime. So I was getting up at like five in the morning, being at work for six, probably not going to bed till like two in the morning, only getting about three hours kip. I was absolutely knackered. I used to fall asleep at work whilst doing the work. I'd be stood up making these filters for hospitals, just like, Wake, trying to keep myself awake. Oh, okay. Yeah, that is actually a thing. My uncle used to do it. He could stand up asleep. Yeah, I didn't mean to. I think, how? How can you do that? I, don't know, I remember when I was a, a little baby with my mum, I'd be walking down the street with her, 
And I said, Mum, I'm really tired. Like, if we go in town or something. Like that. When I was really young and all oh, that. Oh, God, you bring me back to certain memories. I like, kind of shut my eyes and you just, like, guide me along. <laughs> I, I just want to go to sleep. And I'd be walking around, showing my hand. I, well, I didn't actually get to sleep. We just felt like I was. Like, do you ever remember, like, my family tradition when we was young? Because we're both family children, aren't we? We haven't mm, got any brothers or sisters. No. But my my mum and her sister and her husband and her son, so it was like a group of six. So it was like my mum and dad and me, my auntie, my uncle and my cousin. And like we do everything together. And literally, like, a Saturday daytime in Wolverhampton, we'd be like, that's stuffing, by the way, our version of it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, we'd go shopping all day on a Saturday. And when you're a kid... I was straight around the shops yeah. and he was like, oh, I want to sit there, I want to go home. And then we'd go to like this social club thing on a night time, like a working man's club as a family, every Saturday and Sunday night. So you go shopping all day, you come back, you get ready, you go out, you come out, all the time. I never had that because literally it was just me, my mum and my dad. We were rare, in, not in laws, is it? Nans and grands and granddads. But I don't know, cousins or brothers or sisters. I had a lot of mates on the street, mind. A lot of mates like that. That was awful. Right. And going food shopping with your parents, like your mum. Oh, my God, I want to go out. Like, oh, I, used to, I hated it. Well, my dad used to work like, every day and night. He was a nurse by day, and on a weekend by night, he was a taxi vampire. driver. <laughs> he, he might as well be a vampire back then. He was that pretty scary to me. Yeah, um, your dad's scary. Even now. It's like my dad. It's Aim like... stands up to my dad. Yeah, I do. I've got a big gob. I, I... Yeah, I do. I stand up for anybody who I really care about. I don't care who's it, who it is. Mm. I really don't give a hoot. A lot of people would stand up to Lee's dad. Or my dad, for that matter of fact. Nope. It's funny how it works. But you're funny, though, in the respect that in certain circumstances, you're not scared of your dad and you'll stand up to him. Like if it's like if dad's having a go arguing with a mum, even if a mum might be in the wrong, Aim will step in for a mum. But at this next time, like if it's just Aim and a dad, and a dad's like having a bit of a moan on him, you get my dad don't moan at me. My dad kind of tells me what to do, and I'm just okay. <laughs> <laughs> my dad's like an old school geezer type bloke. He's like, now yeah, listen here, cock. That's not even a good impression, that is spot on. That is what a dad sounds like when you get to going. No, for instance, if I say, no, dad, but what about the other Cock, just listen, will you? <laughs> dad, I'll get you get saying anything, just let me say it. And I'm like, okay, dad. <laughs> Literally. I could call you in, like when you come and visit um, Aim's mum, and you might be in the dining room with her. And uh, he'll just shout, I'll be in the kitchen, like, Lee, come here. Well, we're not saying like that voice, he says it in his voice. Oh, like, what's up, Steve? So like, now, look, I'm just saying, before you say anything, he'll just go off on one without it. He, he needs, don't say anything back. In his head, he's just talking normally, and he might be on about, like, taking the bloody bin down the drive, or, you know, you need to get the, the grass cut or something. He comes now around here, here and mate. tells me to cut the bloody grass. Yeah, you'll go. Now, look here, mate, if he's talking to me. Are they being funny? Sit down a minute. You get so like, what the hell? He, he goes on for a while. Even when he's been nice. Mm -hmm. so, so what happened last year, we went to Spain and things went a bit up up shit creek, basically. Sorry, little Les, mate, I did swear. Oops, I can't beep it out either. Um, things went a bit up the creek, basically. We, our dog, got uh, pregnant by our other dog. And we didn't know about it until the day, like four days before we went away. So it was a big emergency. Cost is like, Thousand pound, yeah, and we had our spending money for the holiday, and we couldn't afford a thousand pound on top of a holiday, like in four days. I mean, Christ, not not, not many people could really. So Aim's dad helped us out with the money, and we really appreciated and stuff, and that was fine. Like literally, we are very comfortable, but yeah, but not many people have a thousand pounds just, sitting there. Yeah, that was just a bit. Mm, really caught us by surprise. So Steve, Aim's dad helped us out. That was lovely of him. But we was paying him back when we come back. And this is what I'm saying, even when he's been nice to you, he's quite intimidating. So he called me in, I was up, upstairs, he said, Oi, come here, come here, son. come here, lad, or whatever. 
Well, all, all right, Steve, what's up? Thinking I've done something wrong to pee him off. always do. Everybody thinks I've done something mm, wrong to me, Dad. You don't know how to talk. <laughs> so, look, right, d- before you say anything, sit down. <laughs> all right, all right, okay, Steve. Yeah, no, just sit down there, mate. All right, this is my house. I'm being told to sit down Yeah, but honestly, now. like, how my mum and dad are watching me. When my mum and dad are together, in this, I've got Christmas. This is our home. I felt like we were the mm. kids in their house, did you? Yeah. Never I felt like the boss. Yeah. And I never, ever, will ever act like that. You know, even if I'm not 40 up now. <laughs> so he said, he called me and he said, sit down. Oh, now, before you say anything, well, just listen. All right. <laughs> like no one said anything. I, I'm not going to actually get a bit sad. I don't, Steve, I'm not saying anything, mate. He said, well, just, just shut up and listen. All right. All right, all right Steve. Sit into attention. So, now, you know you owe me that money. I'm like, oh, Christ. Because we're on about £200 at this point. It was just before Christmas. And you know what it's like at Christmas and stuff. And he was coming here for his... We was putting on all the meal, the Christmas dinner and stuff, and providing everything else. And he was staying here for five days. He said, my country... <coughs> after having a bit of a go about it, a lecture, like I was done something wrong, he said, now that £200, you owe me, right? I was like, oh, crap, he's going to ask for it right this second. And I've got to go down the bank, and I've got to do this and that still. I'm like, what a mad rush out of me. He said, I want you to keep that £200, right? I'm like, <laughs> okay. Then what? what's the, what's the catch? He's like... Keep that towards what you're going to be doing this week. I'll buy all the drink. Yeah. I'll buy all that. That's my contribution, right? But oh. not at one point. I mean, if it was me or I, I'm like, hey, you know, that £200 pound job, bab. Like, just keep it, you know, whatever. You'd be have a nice, happy tone to your voice. Steve had the same tone as I just killed a cat. Oh. Uh, he's, he's he a... don't care where he is as well. Let me no. tell you something now. I'm not going to say what was said, because I did agree with my dad. But let me make this comment. Me? In a pub quiz once. And when I tell you, my dad didn't give a hoot about the word. He went ballistic at him. What was it now? I, don't I, can't, I can't say on screen. But it was a rude comment. And he was yes. like, you ain't putting that on that bloody answer thing. You am not. You am not. And he was shaking the top of his room. Everyone was like that. And I thought, mm. like, oh my God. Are you having this? No. My mum's called Brenda. He's like, Bren, are you having this? No, 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 no. <laughs> just went off the I was like, is he for real? Yeah. You can make fun situations quite awkward at times. Then other times, it can be he all like can be soul. daft as a brush. Mm-hmm. If he puts rem- the Ramones on. I see. Or Lady Gaga. But the Ramones are rock music. That's yeah, it. Yeah, he's off of them. Go be my guy's best mate. Right back to his, uh, you know, his 20s or even before that. He's like a fountain of knowledge. Like, you know them people you just know, and they're like, I was on like voice. I wouldn't be great just to know all tried. I mean, he couldn't. My, my dad does. He wouldn't go into someone's house and say, I'm going to build you this and build you that. But if it's li- odds and sods and jobs that he's doing, he's just got a rough idea of how to do it. Like, me and uh, a mate years and years back, we did this huge landscape garden job, and I was just winging it. It was a really good paid job, and I said, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. We'll just wing it until we get to the end. And the bloke who went to help me fell through. And I said to Ames dad, do you mind giving us an hand? I'll, I'll chuck you 500 quid. And he said, yeah, okay. And he's like, do you know what you're doing? He said to me, I said, no, I don't know what I'm doing. Do you know what you're doing? He said, we'll get it sorted. And I ain't kidding. I'm going to put pictures up on Instagram. I said, you can't do any harm. If you follow on Instagram, you'll see it from start, what me and my mate did. I mean, it was, Christ, the job we actually did to get it to the point. It wasn't where, a garden, this was a field. Yeah, it was like, a, it was a bloke's back garden. It was the size of a football pitch. We did a Boston job, if you ask me. But without Ames' dad's help, dad. it would have been a disaster. My what? dad, literally, but little did Lee know, and he said that at the beginning of the conversation, my dad actually can build. Um, my dad can build houses like, with his friends. Like, now he's there to brick line, now he's there to plaster. My dad could build something if he had the... Need to jobs that kids like these days, of course, unless you actually try and do it, you start having that. Like my idea. dad literally knows how to do electrics, he knows how to do plastering, he knows how to do woodwork. Okay. He is a qualified architect, believe it or not. You would never think he, you'd never think that. Uh, he's fantastic with numbers, measurement, everything mm. you can think of, woodwork. Plumbing, anything you got, but our dad, this is blocked. Can you come sort it? Yeah. We might have taken four hours to do a t- half-hour job. It's because oh. he wants it to be spot on. 
Mm. And I read it live. I thought, oh, I'm yet. When I tell you, we said it in a previous video, my dad hoovers for like an hour. It's not even a joke. I think he just enjoys it, you know. He must enjoy like the sound or the rhythm of it or something or other. Like, a six by six room. He, he do with that for an hour. Mm. He, he does. Yeah. Going back to that garden job I did. The funny, little funny story was about me. When we got there, this, um, like an Indian family bought this house and they was renovating it. Personally, I've never, I haven't been in many rich houses or rich people's houses, but I went in this house after it was pretty much done and it was like silly money had been spent on it, like a lot, a lot of money. Mm. I mean, this bloke must have spent about four grand on skips alone whilst I was there. Uh, and it basically, he had this bloke there living in the garage to look after the house because the house was empty for a few months. And this oh, bloke... Lovely. Oh, good. I'll better save some room for that over there, yeah. This bloke was living in his garage anyway, looking after the house whilst no one was in there. And this bloke was an immigrant, an illegal immigrant. And he was on his push bike the one day and he got knocked off his bike by the police, of all people. You don't get knocked off the bike by a copper if you're not meant to be in the country. He said, have you got your papers or whatever it is? They asked, took his details. He didn't have them. He said, okay, got in touch with whoever. He said, right, we're going to have to deport you or take you to wherever it is. Then you'll be deported. They couldn't be doing all the hassle by all accounts. And they said to this bloke, look, it's a lot of hassle. We're going to pull up at the side of the road here, pop into that shop. We're going to leave the door open. Really? Yeah, it's true. There's a, the bloke who did the job for a time said, if you happen to wander out of this van, we won't go looking for you, okay? It's less, it's less hassle for us. You can go and do whatever you want to do. Bish, bash, bosh, done. Come back from the shop. The bloke's done a runner. No problem. The bloke didn't go back to this man's house who he was looking after the garage for. He just, I think he might have got his stuff and just left. And the bloke had heard this story through a mate of his or whatever. But a month later, it was the Queen's Jubilee, the Queen of England. So they have like Buckingham Palace was all open. Oh, yeah. Up. The bloke is watching the TV in the Queen's Jubilee. The immigrant who was living in his shed, who was an illegal immigrant, and would surely want to keep his, um, uh, like his, keep to himself and off, You're off not TV. Really smart, I think you're say. He was cutting the lawns at Buckingham Palace on the TV with a huge lawnmower, just walking along. <laughs> well, it's a good job that, you were a terrorist, you know. If that doesn't t take the biscuit, what do they say? Mm -hmm. Pardon me. I'm done with some cabbage. I can't believe you've wasted it. I haven't wasted it. I've eaten two pieces. Is there any left? No. 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 I don't want any more. I don't want any more. I'll eat that bit of broccoli. I mean, it annoys me when you do this because... Oh, well, I'll eat some cabbage then. Why are you picking up with your fingers? Why not? What's wrong with that? Would you do that in a carvery? I don't know. And then again, saying that I did eat my Yorkshire pudding that way, but cabbage... More than hey, saying that, I've rabbit wrap. Rabbit wrap. Rabbit wraps. That was delicious, but my What God. do the rabbit wraps taste of? <laughs> you know, that's one thing I've never ate, is rabbit. Yeah, what meat would you just really not eat? I wouldn't eat, like, pheasant. Could that meat just look... A pigeon. A, a game, rich, game, meat. I wouldn't, I wouldn't eat rabbit, because I used to have rabbits. So I had... For you, any any of you there watching around Fools and Horses, I had two rabbits, Del and Rodney. Oh, it's on the TV at the minute on pause. Yeah, yeah it's, um, I, ha <clears throat> I had dolls. I couldn't eat a rabbit. Um, and then the obvious, the obvious meats out there that people shouldn't be eating. Mm, obviously. obviously. Of course, but I'm like, I'm like traditional sort of English meats. I'm Definitely not game, ones. like pheasant. Mm. <coughs> What's the other one? Could you eat a... Uh, like what a veal! We had that in Spain. That was lovely. Oh, and what was that? that, wasn't that what is a veal again? Is that deer? No, it's not easy. It? What am I about? Anyone know what a veal is? I think it is, isn't he? Oh, no, is it baby calf? I, I know it one's Bambi. deer and one's baby calf. There's veal and there's um, what's that other one? I don't know, but I hope I didn't just eat Bambi and say it was great because it was really tasty. I thought we had duck once by mistake. Yeah, Lee went to Sainsbury's, picked up a chicken, which actually turned out to be a duck. Yeah. I didn't mind it. I mean, it's a bit, tasted a bit different. It, it was that greasy, which I know duck is quite greasy, isn't it, and that, but 
I didn't know. I still have to say it, it was a no dog. It was a situation for me. <coughs> oh, sorry. But the fact that it was brown, brown meat. I'm just going to check that out now. Yeah. For anybody who's check going, out the veal. I th- I'm not, what is it now? Who joined us last night for our live, guys? It was very much fun. Uh, it's my birthday today, so but you're not getting this video, so we're going to put this video out tomorrow. So we've got to have a little birthday cakey wakey. Oh yeah. Because it's my birthday. Even I'm stuffed to it in the kipper. I mean, well, there's five Yorkshire puddings left. I brought twenty in. Um, was that uh, oh no! I might have had about thirteen. It's baby cows. I saved a baby cow once. Two actually. I didn't physically pick her up and save her, like drag her out of a burning house. But I walk a dog. And then, carry on. It's all right. I walk a dog up by a And venison. Venison is dear meat. Oh, that's the one, yes. I walk a dog anyway. (laughs) Up by a farm. And I noticed that there's a cow. Aw. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dearly. Happy birthday to you. Hooray! Whoop, whoop. Oh, shit. That's the nicest you've ever been to me on oh, camera. Oh, behave. <laughs> right, make a wish. I wish for... You can't tell anyone else. It won't come true. Mm. There we go. I'm not going to say it all, because I don't know I'll myself. I'll that one out, so I'm just going to make a quick wish, even though it's not my birthday. Yeah, it will be soon. Cap. I don't know what I'm wishing to, or who. Somebody, the, the birthday king, or queen, or fairy. Oh my god, I'm full. So, there was a little cow calf anyway, and it had been left up there by, they'd called all the cows in, including the mum cow, and she'd had it up the top of the field, the farmer didn't know. I, like, I can't leave a baby oh, calf yeah, there. yeah, you did find a... Yeah, yeah. It happened twice. The second time, the mother cow was up in the top field, and she'd had this calf, and obviously she'd walked off in the middle of the night, and thought, sod it, I'm going to have me a little calf in the field. And the farmers didn't know. And I was like, walked around to this milk, it's a milking farm. It's like, mate, you got a cow and a calf up the top. It's like, I haven't got all my cows in. It's like, mate, either my eyes deceive me, or there's a cow up there with a baby cow next to her. Um, yeah. So two the cows. same field that Lee found that dodgy pram on. If yeah. you watched our video. Scary Can't thing. tell you which video that is, but. No, the scariest thing to ever happen to me, we'll go into that. Never, because we've done it once. We've already said, haven't we? Yeah. Oh, oh, hey, which oh, one do you want? One. These are bloody lovely guys. Which one do you want? That one. Okay. There you go, I can't then. eat mine now. I can't. That was absolutely pointless to even decide which one you want. You to can. You, you'll you get that. I should do it over the plate and you won't lift it. Lee loves to take the cake wrapper yeah, off yeah. and the chocolate bits fall out and he collects it's them so up. good. Because these, they're only like £1 odd for a pack of four. And you get the white chocolate and the chocolate chocolate. I don't like the chocolate chocolate. Milk chocolate. Milk maybe. chocolate, yeah. Um, yeah, but Lee, Lee has seen some things on that field. If anybody knows Bushby Hill in Wolverhampton, that's where we're on. We've got a few people around here from Wolves on our channel. Uh, um, yeah. Hi, all my fellow yam yams. Yeah. But we have um, mm. eaten different things over the years, but never anything scary. Have we? Uh, well, that crab we ate. Oh, oh God. Now. Well, we learnt today, I don't know if you read the comments, I replied to it. We kind of got it a bit wrong yeah. with the whole ginger thing and you forcing me to eat ginger. By all accounts... Isn't it a palate cleanser? By all accounts, you don't paint, you don't clean your uh, your makeup palette of it now. I thought it was like a palate cleanser. It might very well be, I mean, I mean you did tell me that. I'm hoping you weren't just guessing. Go on. It was disgusting. Apparently, ginger on its own is vile, and I can agree with that. You're meant to put it with something, a little bit of sushi or something like that, and apparently it's a game changer, according to a lady on here who commented yes oh, this right. morning. Well, the only reason why I did it that is when I watch it on there, like SAS ASMR, is it called? Or whatever I don't know, but you're really crucial. And all them, they, they, eat... <laughs> yeah, <fire. laughs> they eat it like that, like, you know, have a bit, eat it now. And I thought it might be like a palate cleanser. Mm. Like, uh, um,. What do they call it? Not an amuse bouche, is it? What do they call it? Like it was a not amusing. A, like a sorbet. A sorbet is a palate cleanser. Isn't it? A lemon sorbet. Next time you think of doing stuff like that, I'm just check out your facts first because it, it was horrible. The ginger. The worst part of it, even, even worse than the Let's crab. Let's research. The ginger. Mm. Imagine being back in the sixties and seventies, in the eighties, when there was no internet. Um, if you had to know anything, how the hell are you going to find out? An encyclopedia. But 
how many questions are actually been answered in, in an encyclopedia? Loads. But not like, what time does McDonald's open? That won't be in there. You go on the internet when you want to know what time McDonald's opens. What is in a McChicken nugget? You go on the internet to find that out. Here we go. Uh, traditionally, ginger is used or served as a paddock cleanser during meals, several courses of sushi. A yeah. bite of ginger between the pieces of sushi allows you to distinguish the distinct flavours of each fish. Okay, you got it right, then, but uh, the, the girl was just saying. Oh, no, no, I'm not saying no, that. No, 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 that. Which was just saying it's vile on its own, and I it completely is, agree. Whoever you are, my dear. Ginger, nasty. nasty no, actually, taste. no, I didn't. Because I actually like ginger. Ginger. Not ginger beer. Whatever. I do like that. Um, I like to grow a beer drink. Let me know it's going to be ginger. He said no. That's different altogether, matey. Never ever again would I have never seen so many beards in my life when we went down to Torquay that once when oh, every yeah. man now out there decided I'm gonna grab a beard. About three years ago it came popular, didn't it? To have beards. Do you remember everybody was like, I'm gonna grab a beard? And like all the beard oils and beard trimmers and yeah, and then brushing oh. the beards. I think it's brilliant, don't get me wrong. If you have a well maintained mm. beard I love people who take care of the hair and everything like that. That's great. But I would be a bit scared. Go on, no, go on. Oh, go on. I was just saying it was like a gang of sheep. Like, all following. But I would sort. be a bit scared. Hmm. Nice, is it, love? Um, if, you know, like, if you're eating or you're going to kiss someone, what about if you get food attached to it? Or what about, like, when you're kissing the other person with a moustache or moustache, whatever you <laughs> I say moustache. I think that's the right way, the posh way, moustache. I don't say moustache, I say moustache. Moustache. Um, what about if the hairs, do they go in the other person's mouth? It's just a bit of a concern. I think it was just a case of everyone looked the same. So you have that group of, because it was just me and Eamon and Torquay. It was a lovely hey, holiday. Well, our first holiday, just me and Eamon. There he is. It was fantastic. Oh! <laughs> You know, it's famous as Tia Barn. Tia pops up on the channel. I sat in the live chat. Everyone's like, hello, Tia. Hello, Barney. Everyone say hello to Barney. Interesting, but... Yeah, because you know what Barney's after. No. Oh, Barney want... wants the cake. You want the chicken dinner, don't you? No, he doesn't. Yeah, he, he loves... Oh, you shouldn't give him sweet stuff, but he absolutely... <laughs> You're not getting to the cake. Any smell of sweet stuff, this dog... I tell you now, if this dog could go to the shop, he would buy a multi-pack of chocolate, wouldn't he? Yeah. He absolutely... If you give Barney meat or a Mars bar, he'd eat the Mars bar. He would, he'd love it. Hmm. Got an absolute stack of chicken left over and um, stuff, so he'll get himself a little dinner and a bit. Maybe we could, I know what we'll have then, some chicken sandwiches. Oh yeah, there's an absolute stack of chicken left. Uh, I was just saying, no, when we was in Torquay, it was me and I was our first holiday together. It was lovely. We've been to oh, Torquay I a love, few I'd, times. I'd, that's where I'd like to live, mm. eventually. We have said that a few times. If we had to live somewhere else in England, our dream place would probably Torquay. I... I like Cornwall, but I just, I think what it is, like, my, apart from the abroad holidays when I was younger, but uh, that's where I went on holiday a hell of a lot. When I was a kid, it was always Torquay, Brixham, Weymouth, and if you're from another country, Google it, and then you can get an image of what I'm t- where I'm talking about. Beautiful. It is absolutely stunning down there. The only problem is, if, in terms of the holidays... English Riviera. Once you've done it once, that's good. Twice is good. Three times, yeah. Or well, our third time there... It was our like fourth time even with your mum. It was a bit... weather was terrible, wasn't it? Yeah, but really it didn't bad. matter to me because, like, you know, my mum would come out of hospital with mm. the all-clear of things. So I couldn't care so I loved it. Obviously. But we, we, are, we had uh, an experience in a club with Mum with a beard. Yeah. But everyone looked the freaking same. That's what I'm saying. I went into a club. There was like 200 blokes there. Everyone had a beard, apart from me. It was like, oh, he's the odd one out then. He's not from round here. He ain't now. Look at him. He can't grow a beard. So it's like, I'm going to grow a beard. Didn't happen. It was the all thing ginger. is, Lee's beard, uh, he, he, you tried to, it just grew out ginger. Mm. And I was like, Lee? My hair's largely, well, I've never seen ginger in my hair. I saw like strawberry blonde. But well, I used to get called ginger as a kid and all this stuff, bunny waffle. You're not like um, a dark ginger, but you have got tones of red in your hair, like strawberry blonde. But mm. it's, it's not carrot type, that's you, just so. That is full on ginger. That is the gingerest as ginger can go. Your beard when it grows. Yeah. But I feel and like I'm... half a man. I feel like I'll never feel fulfilled if I don't grow a beard. Don't you feel that as a woman? I 
I don't personally like you with a beard, Lou. We just had a little bit of a, a lover's tiff there, guys. Yeah. He was like, I'm, I'm, I'm like, no. <laughs> you not, said it, like, yeah, didn't you? You're not growing a beard. No. That's, no. I need a filter, guys, basically. And I'm is my Do filter. You know, and then for poor Esme, we carried the blooming we video, the video going, back up. And then he swore, and I went, no, this is Esme's. Hello, video. Yeah, I I apologise. Lovely seven-year-old Esme. Yes, I do apologise for my. Esme Esme. or Esme? I don't know. You can pronounce it two ways. Either way, that's me. Esme, that's me. I'm done, kid. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and your shout out. And Leighton and Destiny, I think. Leighton, Savannah, and Destiny. Hello. Hello. Um. Yeah, I I would love to know. Oh, it went dark. They are up in there, like an eclipse. You sort of like do that and then it's like again. I'd love to know who our oldest subscriber is. I know that sounds stupid, but I wonder if we've got anyone like the 90s. Wow. Um, either way, whatever age you're on. I Welcome think, to the family. yeah, like you just got to take me Lee, with a pinch of salt with the swearing and that. We really do apologise. Like I say, normally, because if this feels like don't play with fire. Yeah, I learned that when I was a kid. I, I that's know. a story for another day. Just a quick one now to say. <clears throat> We feel like we're just talking away to each other, so sometimes when we swear, or Lee swears, it's just like we're gassing to our friends, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And we do forget sometimes there are younger viewers, yeah. and older viewers, and, and even in the middle of viewers that don't like bad language. Obviously. I admire people, like Aim's mum, who don't need to... My mum doesn't swear. Who don't need to swear. Like, we don't need to, it's just part of my vocabulary, which sounds stupid, but your mum, no matter how angry she gets, I mean... And I'll write, my dad, my dad don't swear in front of my mum. But really angry. When her mum's really, really yeah, angry. And then she'll swear. She'll let one or two go. But very like, rare. But, but like, for instance, like when my my aunt, my mum's sister's husband, my uncle Glenn, he's now passed away, God love him. Um, it, like, him and my dad, my family's like, if anybody swore around me when I was a kid, they'd be like, do you mind, there's a kid there, do you mind not using your bad language? And I was brought up really with like these men who were like, do not swear. So to me, like, you wasn't allowed to swear around women in my family. It's like that's like a disrespectful kind of thing. Yeah. It was just disrespectful, and if they did, they'd be like, oh, swore in front of women. You know, that's yeah, disgraceful. Right, yeah. But they, they, my dad swears like a trooper now, mm. like not in front of my mum, and he's very careful in front of me, isn't he? Actually, like yeah. only when he feels really comfortable well, around me. Drink. Even oh. like to him, he'll swear, but if I'm there, he'll kind of <laughs> go. Yeah, because yeah, I'm there, he'll swear like, but not. When I'm with your dad, and he starts swearing. I'm like, oh, the hell! It's quite funny. Yeah, but we swear to each other all the time. It's <laughs> like it's nothing. It's just like saying hello. Yeah, it's, it's quite sad, really. You think about that we feel in it necessary to swear so much. We had it, though, didn't we? Had um, sorry, not we had it. Your dad, quick time, went to the post office a couple of years ago, and this bloke who owns the post you office. You told him about the man who came out, and he was like. Funny with it, the owner, and then the son was out. The oh, I've already told the story. Yeah, oh, you right. told the post office story. Oh, my right. dad doesn't, you know. But going back to that, because you all like the story about my dad's stay. Um, basically, he can dish it out, but you know something, he's so sensitive, isn't he? Mm. If it comes to it, he's big time sensitive. He, he hates falling out with people, doesn't he? He's not good. And we like cherry I love cherry This is a cherry we get. Okay. Uh, Pound. It's one of my favourite cherry eyes. Yeah. Called Bar. <laughs> what? No, we had a comment asking what chip shop we used for the fish and chips and what road. But I don't know if they're from Wolverhampton or not. I mean, if you live in Darlington, there's no good to tell me what road it was All on. All right, so. <laughs> I don't know. There's no point telling them on here. We'll tell them in the comments. We'll oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah. I got a cold yesterday. When was it? Did today? You? I had a. I didn't get a cold, a cold or cold on the phone. What no. are you saying? Call or cold? I got called. A called. Cold. Like someone called me a name. I said called. Called. You got called. 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 Like a seagull called. The seagull called no. me. <laughs> Ew, what's the situation? Yeah, no, it's not an owl. Um, woo woo. No, that's not what they do, is it? Woo woo. woo. No, that's what pigeons do. Just forget this thing, man. Do? Do, do, do. Well, they don't do that really uh, easily. Uh, it's the kid I always thought they did. Oh, do, I love do, that else. Go on, what happened there? Right, anyway, so somebody commented on the... On a, it went to like, the spam folder on YouTube and said, that fella's right twat. And 
the intro's terrible. So I was like, all right then. Cheers, really? mate. Oh, I swore. Sorry, Esme, but they did say oh. that. I didn't use the language he did. So, yeah. So really? Like, oh, mate, you blocked from the channel. Yeah, did. What about me? On the fish and shit video. I don't know what I've done in the fish and shit video. I mean, I got called bossy a couple of days ago. I said, love the channel. Love all the content. But Lee is really bossy. And then he called you rude to me. And rude. Oh, what the I hell? think at the end of the day, I mean... You really do need to know how to take us, don't they? Sometimes we can come across a bit... Like, I can be arsy, but Lee could be very bad-mannered, I'd say. You're quite interruptive. I, but I, I know you don't... <laughs> you went to go again, yeah? So I saw what to say a couple of days ago, but I didn't want to... I forgot about it. It doesn't mean a thing. It really doesn't. This is the way we are, isn't mm. it? Just... Daft as brushes. I wanted to say, I don't doubt any of you much. Oh, someone that. called me rude to you as well. Yeah. I was like, okay. We are going to get into that realm of people just thinking they can say what the hell they want because you look at it on like the big channels. I'm not saying we'll be big, but like Nick's channel and B Loves and stuff. And some of the abuse they get, not B Loves, but Nick gets a lot of it. And he doesn't check a lot of his. And I did even once say he reads some of the comments, I'm not most of them. And then you've seriously been missing the page because he, he's on it at the minute with the comments. He goes crazy. He's like, no, I'm going to delete know. my channels. <laughs> yeah, but he doesn't reply to them, is what I'm saying. Uh, some he does. But I've, I know one day we'll not get to the point where we, we just think, sod the comments, or just ignore them because there's a lot of abuse in there. Because I don't think we're doing that wrong. If you don't like our content, then it's fine. Just don't watch it. But what it is, I'll go into it another day. It's about me and my aim. Off. We'll talk about a what? different day. It's about me and you and happy, you know, loving oh, someone. Oh, I'm now. We're on the... So I hope everyone's still watching because I didn't want this to be the main talking point of the conversation. Like, ain't it, have you any yet not scared? I'm scared, Steve. I'm getting old. I'm 35 today. Scared of what? Uh, the future. Because it's great to be in love with someone. It's great to have someone in your life that you love that much. Like, you can't imagine... I mean, me and I have not had a day apart in 13 years. No matter what jobs we've had, we've always made sure we've never worked away. Oh, no, I thought you meant like, wouldn't it? Well, we haven't had No, I'm not in 13 years. I've had one single day apart. And some people might say, how the hell does that work? It just works. And that's how I'd always want it. But it's scary as hell, ain't it? When you love someone that much as I love him and she loves me. You. That the future, the thought of like one day, it could just be one of us. Like, it could be me about Amy, Amy about me. I don't mean a split up, because I genuinely, in my heart, don't think that'll ever happen, but a lot of people say that. But I mean, like, if we stick together to the, our last days, then, wow, that's scary. I think what's scary is right now the world's in such a strange place that people are losing their loved ones. Mm. Then, you know, I think, you know what is so unjustified to me? How, like, people out there who've got cancer or some other life-threatening disease or illness pardon me and then this covid thing's about and like that shouldn't be about it's like okay there's an order to life and if you get an illness thing that's just something you can't help but this could have been prevented and i think that's what's horrible so people are losing people when they didn't need to no one needs to lose someone due to somebody eating food Some in another country idiotic oh don't get me started but what i'm saying is like you know like it's an order to life isn't it but the way it is at the moment, people are out there, and I know there's people who've watched this that have lost people, mm. and I think to myself, God, you just can't imagine, like, I pers I've recently went to school with a lad who was a major Olympian, like, big time, and um, obviously I'm not going to make name names because some people might know him from here, and he he's really recently committed suicide, and yeah. I think... Okay. You know, de and he, he left uh, his wife and his child, and I think, you know, if you love someone that much... Suicide's one of them ones, though, unfortunately. I mean, we can't go into it too much, but there's a lady on here who we try to help out by doing a little sort of video for her friend's yeah, girlfriend. Can, I don't know if that's already been sorted, I don't know if they raised the money or not. Well, if, if you can go and check out our videos, you'll see it on there. Yeah, and this lady committed suicide and left a couple of children and a husband behind. We know some, but I don't, that's a lie. Our friend, Ames, ex, and Artie's dad, a friend of his, oh my committed goodness. suicide. Yeah, well, we both knew him. We're not going to go into details, it's not our place to, but he committed suicide and left his kids and his wife behind. And I think nobody ever, ever, ever knows what's going on in, else, in someone else's mind. That's so. All. Just hold your loved ones dear and close to you as much as you can and make, like, instead of moaning about this lockdown and, 
Oh, I want to get down. I want to get down the pub, and I want to go and see my mates, and these idiotic people having huge ass parties and you know lockings in pubs because the owners can't wind the next in. You just think to yourself, well, I'm breathing. Trust me, you're gonna regret it when all the lockdown's done and you're back at work five days a week, three hundred odd days a year, four weeks off holiday a year, and you're doing that for the next thirty odd years. You're gonna regret if you haven't spent enough time with your loved ones and just appreciated what you got. I mean, I knew this woman. It was actually, I'm not even gonna say where, but the, there was this. And she worked every single day. Quite a miserable person in life. I'm not gonna lie. Next thing you know, she's like. Late forties, was work obsessed. Like she just didn't have the time for anything. Like even with her children and her husband, it just always seemed a little bit kind of. That was second fiddle, if you understand. She died of a heart attack. Like that. And I think, well, you, you know, with this sort of people are moaning about the lockdown and that, but you know, you want to get on a plane to intensive care. People out there at the moment are doing the right thing when they're out there, bloody going mm. walking around the streets in people's houses. Just be thankful you're breathing because, like I say, there has been people that have committed suicide over this COVID thing because they're sheer scared of this disease. Just be, be happy with each other. Damn right. That's and well we're sorry though. if we do come across as well a little bit uh, arsy with each other at times and, and like people will say, oh, Ames my own, that's really Lee's fine. being nasty. It's not. We really ain't. That's just our personality, is it? You would not be getting... It'd be like going out and buying... A can of coke and find out it's roller cola inside. If me and I come on here and pretend it to be something we're not, so we've come on here, be how we are with each other. If you the camera wasn't on, and it's what you see is what you get. It's like with Nick and Orlan. I don't believe for one minute that there's that much drama between the two of them. I really don't. I think it's a lot of it is staged, like in a harmless way. That's up to them. But with me and Lee, what you see is what you get. And the way I look at YouTube Sorry, as well, man. if you don't like the. the the content. There's plenty of other channels. What there's these people? Excuse me. Specifically, go on. Just to give abuse. Yeah, I'm thinking. Yeah, I know what you mean. Why? What is the need to me? There's one name for that, and that's called a bully. And on that score, I'm gonna wrap it up because I fancy watching a bit of Bullseye at the minute. Really? No. Bullseye was. Terrible. Bullseye isn't even on anymore. You'll find it on one of the channels. Do if you want to know... explain to our? Across the pond. Yeah, Bullseye was a, a program when we were a kids, dart. and it was like a game show. And Jim the, Bowen. Jim Bowen, who lived near where I was from, and they throw darts to win prizes and stuff like that. Well, it's a game of darts. Yeah, and that's us done, guys. Amy is great at darts, by the way, when she's pissed. No, honestly. She's really good when she's drunk. I don't know what happens, but I get bullseyes all the time, don't yeah. I? Give her a dart when she's sober, no chance. Give her a drink, and she's like. What's his name? Phil the Power Taylor, who's like the, one of the best darts players ever. Oh, literally. And not even your mate Gary at the yeah. time was like, do you play yeah. darts? Are you a professional? I'm like, no, I've never played. Really, my dad was amazing at darts. Oh, no, he's a good pool either. player as well, my dad. Oh, but yeah, whoops my ass every time we play. He's good at pool. But that's because he's a brilliant joiner and things like that. So he's like, he's really good with lines so he can aim and... Really well. I'm not going to comment on that. Eh? That sounds ridiculous. He's a good joiner, so therefore he's a good pool player. You know, the joiners have to be precise, don't they, with the measurements? Yeah, but I think he's just a good pool player, because he's a good pool player. No, but he isn't. My dad's like, he was passed as an architect, so he's got very good eye, like, lines. It's all about lines. Yes, yeah, but it? imagine the people who don't do, who ain't joiners, who are just good pool players. Well, if you, must, if you can't. Dave was a good pool player. No, if you can't. Aim in the right direction. You've had it, haven't you? Well, I'm a crap at both, so I can't draw a straight line or play pool. It that would well. make sense why you're a bit like Tim Nice with Dim. No, Come you, on, you can't your... dance. What the hell's going on here? And also, what I can't do is, like you lot found out last night, I'm bloody terrible at karaoke. Thank God we stopped the video when we did. <laughs> Everyone was raving about yours. I can't remember. Who was banging on saying you could win X Factor next year? I did a bit of karaoke. I think everyone tuned out. Right, that is us done, guys. Oh, yeah, thanks for all your nice comments about us singing. Say your bit, I'm. <laughs> God, I forgot I did that. Remember uh, to be calm, remember to be nice. Comment, share, like, and subscribe. And don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos by me and the birthday boy. Hey. Thank you. And when you watch this, guys, it was my birthday, yes, today when we record it. But you're I'm not why you don't bang it up tonight. Because we want to give ourselves a break in between videos. So tomorrow, when you're watching this video, I've had my birthday. I'm recovering. 
I'll be recovering from the 10 cans I'm going to have tonight. And it's Mia, Izzy's birthday. Oh, God. Yeah, we're going up in the penthouse suite tonight. Maybe do a 10 minute video for our other channel. Maybe not, I don't know. Uh, we need to get some on there, Christ. And that's us, guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed our chicken dinner. What did you have for dinner today? We yeah, next answer Thursday. the questions. And again, as my sorry about the language that is in there. So sorry, mom. Take care, everybody. Crystal. Take it easy. And we will see you on our next video. And a quick shout out. Bye. Uh, take care to Chatsy. Chatsy. Yeah. Name? Yeah. Probably wouldn't want to know. No, we'll say anything. I'll just, Chatsy. I think that's your name, mate. Um, I don't need to know your real name. I'm sure it's on there, but. Drop us a message on uh, Instagram, buddy. Take care. See you later, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.